SpaceX and billionaire Jared Isaacman, they're teaming up to take at least three more trips to space. Today, they announced the Polaris project. The first mission called Polaris Dawn will, will spend up to five days in orbit. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza is in our studio tonight. Noelle, what is the goal of the program? Well, it's being called the first of its kind effort to advance human spaceflight, all while continuing to raise funds and awareness for important causes back here on Earth. I'm personally as committed to seeing SpaceX vision of a world that is more interesting when people can journey among the stars as I am to St. Jude and their vision that no child should die in the dawn of life. Billionaire Jared Isaacman led Inspiration4 last year, the world's first all-civilian mission to orbit and raised $240 million for St. Jude. This time, he hopes to do the same. I'm incredibly passionate that we can make meaningful progress towards a world we all want to live in for tomorrow. The first mission, Polaris Dawn, is set to fly higher than any Dragon mission to date and will try to reach the highest Earth orbit ever flown. Achieving this altitude is more than just breaking a record. SpaceX began working out of McGregor 20 years ago. Leaders say they're proud of the role their city plays in the advancement of human spaceflight. We know that we play a role and uh, and some of the accomplishments that, that SpaceX has and, and this uh, Polaris mission is going to be the the next one. Those engines will be tested in McGregor before they are taken to Florida and launch people into space. McGregor's mayor Jim Herring says the growth of SpaceX in the city has been astronomical. When they started in 2002 roughly it would have been with three employees and uh, 250 acres and now they are headed towards probably greater than a thousand employees with 4,000 acres under lease. The Polaris Dawn crew includes Isaac Min as the mission commander, Scott Poteet as the mission pilot, Sarah Gillis as the mission specialist, and Anna Menon as the mission specialist and medical officer. I can't tell you how honored I am to work with such an accomplished crew that I trust and respect deeply. I hope that they have some understanding of where all this started, of where the uh, of where those engines that are going to get them there came from and uh, and the role and the pride that uh, I know our local community folks will have as, uh, as, they are, as they are launched into space. And I hope this is just the beginning. Polaris Dawn is planned to launch anywhere between October through December of this year. To learn more about the mission, visit our website, fox44news.com. In the studio, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.